hey what's up guys so as you can see today i have a samsung galaxy tab 2 10.1 inches the gtp5113 here in front of me and i'm going to be doing a couple of bench tests on, on this, this device now as you can see this device is, was made back in 2012 and it's really really old as you can see from the interface it's really old okay so now jumping into settings going into about device i'm going to show you that this has already received the latest software updates and it cannot be updated any further that's it okay so now jumping again into settings we go to the android version as you can see it's running on jelly bean 4.2 2.2 which is not that great it's really old and i get it this device was made back in 2012 and i understand okay so now jumping into the cpuz we can see the local information and the device information as you know this this thing is really good for the battery it has got a 7000 milliamp power battery which is really really great and it runs for a really long time and i'm really happy about it considering the screen size and everything okay so now let's just go ahead and clear up the ram and firstly i'm going to jump into antutu benchmark and this is going to be my first bench test let's just go ahead and test this tablet okay so now see it has started and it completed with a score of 10,554 duh which is not that great it's not that great at all i mean i've tested a few games on this and they really don't work well granted that a few small games may work but games like asphalt no it's really really glitchy and these are the scores they they're the average type scores i mean blow average and that's all for it i guess okay so now let's just go ahead and clear up the ram again and let's jump into speed test okay so what's happening here something fishy click click oh there we go i don't know what was that okay begin test testing pin as you can see we got a download speed of 1 mbps now again this speed is limited by your local internet service provider so beware and okay Okay, upload speed of 0.43 Mbps. What's going on here? Okay, I guess it should perform well next time, but screw it for now. Okay, now I want to point out something. When I went to download Geekbench 4, it gave me an error of your device isn't compatible with this version. Maybe Android apps are losing their support for older devices, which is really not that great, and I guess you really need to upgrade. Phone companies are forcing you to upgrade. But not to worry, I've downloaded this app called 3D Mark. But to my surprise, it shows that unfortunately it has stopped, which I guess is again to something to do with the, with the Android version. So I really recommend you to root this thing and upgrade it. I, I would do a routing tutorial later in my next video if you leave a thumbs up button and comment below. Okay, so that's all for this device. Mostly, I would recommend this device for normal re reading work and maybe typing work, maybe some YouTube not heavy games small games like chess will do and so on as you can see it runs like this it's okay peace out